Hey, what's up guys? Swizzy Nick Tutorials here, and before this video starts, I just want to apologize for how I sound. It is, as you can see, 10.49 p.m. I am pretty tired, and obviously I'm planning to go to sleep after this, but um, I decided to make a video. Um, this is a question I get asked a lot, not by my YouTube audience, because I don't usually have like a Twitter following or anything where I can say like, hey, what do you need, what do you guys need help with? So, this is a question that I myself had, because I am a iMac owner, and I've always wondered how to do this. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to hide your desktop icons. Now, this is for MacBook, Mac, iMac, or Mac Mini, or Mac Pro. Basically, anything that has the Mac App Store, as you can see. So, to start this off, as you can see, I have this little circle up in my taskbar that I have launch at login, icon, I hide icons at launch, global hotkey, a ton of other stuff, and I can hit show desktop icons, and now my icons are showing up on my screen. So now we can do that. So if I head back here and hit hide desktop icons, you're going to see that they flash and it goes away. So I'm going to show you to do this. So it's basically using an app called Hidden, I think it's Hidden Me Free. Yeah, it's right here. It's an app that you download that goes into your launch pad. So if you go and open up the App Store, now the, just bear with me, this is a 2009 iMac, so it may take a little bit to load up these applications. And you guys are gonna hear the air conditioner in the background. I am in the basement floor of our house. I apologize for that as well. But as you can see, we now have the App Store. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to search, and I'm gonna type in hidden me free. I think it's one word. Hidden me free. So I go and search that. There's only going to be one app here. Now you're going to notice it has three and a half stars as its rating, but I do not take this. Um, it does its job. It does it perfectly. There's a Hidden Me Pro version. But as you can see, you just hit get, which I already have it, so I'm not going to click that. And basically, it just hides your desktop icons with a single click. So you just you hit get and then install, which I'm not going to install it because I already have the app. So once you do that, you're going to get this. And if it's not, if you go to Launchpad, and you can just click Hidden Me Free, and it's going to go ahead and load up. So you have tons of different options up here, such as show desktop icons this is just your main button right here this is what you'd show your desktop icons with it just flashes and as you can see i do have tons of icons now there is a way that you can do it without going up here and clicking on that usually if you have your keyboard so it's just standard function keys uh such as f1 on like say a windows keyboard you can set that and then you'll be able to do that so i'm going to go and hide my desktop icons again but if you want to do it without actually opening up this program, you just need to go into System Preferences, and you need to go to your keyboard settings, and then you're going to see Use All F1, F2, etc. keys as standard function keys. When this option is selected, press the FN key to use the special features, which the FN key on a Mac keyboard is actually the Alt or Option key. So if I go ahead and check this, now if I hit like F1 for, or F12 for volume up, it's going to bring me into here, which is not where I'm trying to go. So now if I hit Alt, or the Option key, and then do it, we're going to get the special things, which right now it's not deciding to do anything. But, um, yeah, that's how you do that, which I personally don't like it like that. Sometimes I do. It really helps for Minecraft uh, for that. So I'll basically just cover two things in one. But, yeah, that's just basically how to hide your desktop icons. Um, simple one click you can show them move them around as you can see I can move these um, or I can click back here and hit hide and it will completely get rid of them I'm pretty sure F1 is the key that you would hit if you have a standard function key as your keyboard so yeah that's basically it for this video uh, if you enjoyed this video or it helped you please hit that like it helps me out a lot and also share this video with anybody else that has this question I know it was one that kept bugging me because I'm one of those perfectionists that doesn't like the notification bubbles that comes up on apps on like iPhone. I have to get rid of them. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you liked it, again, uh, share it and like it. It really helps me out a lot. And go ahead and subscribe uh, for more tutorials, drum covers, and gaming videos. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this